You've got to help me, Tom. There's a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. Give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Listen, we've got to go. We've got to save her. I'm afraid I can't do that, Harry. You see, as poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. Yes, Harry. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. No, she couldn't. She wouldn't. It was Ginny who set the basilisk on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the walls. But why? Because I told her to. You'll find I can be very persuasive. Not that she knew what she was doing. She was, shall we say, in a kind of trance. Still, the power of the diary began to scare her. And she tried to dispose of it in the girls' bathroom. And then, who should find it but you? The very person I was most anxious to meet. And why did you want to meet me? I knew I had to talk to you. Meet you if I could. So I decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. Hagrid's my friend! And you framed him, didn't you? It was my word against Hagrid's. Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. I bet Dumbledore saw right through you. He certainly kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. I knew it wouldn't be safe to open the chamber again while I was still at school, so I decided to leave behind a diary, preserving my 16-year-old self in its pages so that one day I would be able to lead another to finish Salazar Slytherin's noble work. Well, you haven't finished it this time. In a few hours, the Mandrake draft will be ready, and everyone who is petrified will be all right again.